guys. Hey. How are you doing? I think I'm working out today. today. Hey. Pretty good. Very good. Welcome to my home. I'm Dr. Mark Atala, and these are some of my outstanding students. And today we're going to talk about genetics and how we are similar to our parents in both looks and personality. But perhaps we could get started with introductions. I'm Annie. I'm Maddie. I'm Zach. I'm Will. And I'm Ashley. Outstanding. So, uh, who would like to go first? How are you guys similar to your parents? I'll go first. Please, um, thank you. I think I'm a really good mix of both of my parents combined. I uh -huh. think if I had to choose one, I look a little bit more like my mom, but mm -hmm. I definitely have features from both, um, which is cool to think about. And then looking at my siblings, who, like, my older sister is also very much like my mom and dad, but then my older brother and my little sister, like, my brother is so much like my mom, my sister is so much like my dad. Okay. Um, so I got kind of a mix of both. In terms of personality, though, I would say, um, like, socially, I'm a lot like my mom. She's a very social person and uh -huh. likes to talk a lot. But interest-wise, I'm more like my dad. He more likes, um, like, sports and, like, um, like going out and doing things where my mom's just kind of more like, oh, I'll just, like, chill out. Like a homebody. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, which is fun, but, yeah. yeah, that's how I say I like them. Very good. Mm -hmm. Who'd like to go next? Um, Zach, please. Yeah, I'm told that I look a lot like my dad did at my age, mm -hmm. which I don't have photos, so I can't confirm. <laughs> but I do well, if you that. come up with some, we can put them on That's the true. Video. I bet he'd love that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I definitely inherited his libertarian streak. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But I also think I took genetically uh, my mom's penchant for caring. Oh, okay. For people who were lower than herself. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a positive that's a weird way to thing. phrase that. <laughs> well, people who are less fortunate, perhaps. Yes. Would be the mm -hmm. way to say it. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. I'll, I'll go next. Uh, physically, I am exactly like um, my grandfather on my mom's side. So, my maternal grandfather. And my brother said that he has a picture where I look exactly like my great grandfather mm -hmm. on that same side. And I've been able to use that with my mom because now that she's in her 90s, I look like her dad in his 50s. And so, like, when it was time to move her into assisted living, uh, she kind of, like, glommed on to, I'm like her dad. So mm -hmm. it has its manipulative aspects to it. Personality-wise, I'm absolutely like my father. My dad was the most positive, outgoing, optimistic person. Uh, he would end every conversation with better days are coming and so and that's a guy who grew up during the depression uh, Somebody put on Facebook the other day that uh, the United States has hit 14 trillion dollars in debt And then I put underneath that. Yes, but there's 216 or uh, 14 trillion dollars in debt. I said some um, we have $269 trillion in assets, though. Mm -hmm. And then one of my friends put underneath that, Optimist. Mm -hmm. So, And I used to be a member of the Optimist Club, too. So that's how <laughs> it's I an it. Optimist Club? Yeah. In Kirksville. They're everywhere, though. And so, uh, yeah, we have, like, Student of the Month kind of things for kids in K-12. Okay. But that's how I'm like them. Mm -hmm. Who would like to go next? We're all looking at you now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, you're up. Okay, so I think I look like equally like my mom and dad because they have a lot of like similar features, which I like read that like a lot of times people are attracted to people that like kind of look like them. Sure, and look like and people in their family. Similar features, so I think that's kind of why I look like both of them. Um, I remember whenever I was younger, there was one day I had a doctor's appointment and a dentist appointment. And at the doctor's appointment, they told me I was looking more and more like my dad. And at the dentist's appointment, they told me I was looking more and more like my mom. So I was like, ah. Well, maybe your teeth are like your mom's. Mm -hmm. like, are they? Um, but I definitely have like the darker features, more like my dad, uh -huh. where my mom has like blue eyes and lighter colored hair. Uh -huh. So I think... I didn't really get that like hers, but of course, the more dominant traits are the sure. darker ones. So, mm -hmm. but I think I look pretty equally between the two of them. They're both a little bit shorter. They're both, you know, look like me. Um, <laughs> but I would have to say that like 
Personality wise, I'm probably more like my mom because my mom's super outgoing and can talk a lot <laughs> and is like always social and always wants to be like doing stuff with friends. Sure. So I'm sort of like her in that aspect, but also I have like a meter and I can like burn out and then I'm like, I need my alone time and I need to recharge. Like I, I use my alone time as a time to like recharge where a lot of sure. people use like their social interactions as a way to recharge. Right. Um, and I think that's how I'm similar to my dad because like he can like be social, but then like at the end of the day, he's like, I need to go home. I need right. to be alone. I need to have my time to recharge. And so I think that's how I'm similar to my dad. Well, let me ask you this then too, because, uh, you're absolutely right. People who are extroverted, they get their energy from other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you think inherently you're more of an introvert or an extrovert? So I think I'm an extroverted introvert. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? So like an ambivert. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> that is a term. Yeah. Um, so, like, I really do enjoy, like, spending time with people. I really uh -huh. will kind of, like, go a little stir-crazy if it's, like, gone, like, a day or two with, like, out, like, hanging out or interacting yeah. with many people. Mm -hmm. But, like, I will have to, like, say, like, similar to an introvert, like, I get my energy from being alone. And, like, whenever I've hung out with people for too long, I'm like, I need my alone time. <laughs> like, my boyfriend lives probably like four hours away and whenever he comes and visits he only has classes on Tuesdays so he'll come uh -huh. like Wednesday through Monday and I just like <laughs> hang out with him the whole time and I like love him I care about him of a course. lot but like just spending that much time with a person without any like breaks yeah. for me I'm like <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I need, need some more time yeah. which is good because like now that we've gotten used to it like I'll be like okay I'm gonna go in my room like take a nap or something you can like watch tv or whatever but like maybe Leave just like a alone. few hours where I'm just like be alone you have an arrangement yeah and it works mm -hmm. it works <laughs> outstanding so yeah I think I'm an ambivert very good <laughs> yeah. we all learned a new word thank you Zach yeah. you're welcome who would like to go next then? So, <laughs> Ashley, please, thank you. <laughs> There's dissent, I will take charge, <laughs> which is um, one of the things. So, like, I feel like my how similar I am to my parents has uh -huh. often been in juxtaposition to how different I am from my brother, like mm -hmm. the one who has the same parents as me, both uh -huh. of them. <laughs> um, there's only one who's like that, even though I have a lot of siblings, sure. and um, we are very different people, like, we're both brown haired, blue eyed white kids and like sure. they're both relatively tall and kind of lean you know um how tall are you because i don't know i'm five nine and three quarters my life goal was always to be five ten <laughs> i never got that quarter in i just round up if i were you <laughs> i do sometimes i, learned, I feel like a liar <laughs> from being short <laughs> i've learned that there's no shame in rounding up <laughs> <laughs> when you're when you're like taller than the average woman in the first place it's okay. like it's like cheating you know like people are, people are like no you're five nine i'm like but it's almost there but if you're wearing shoes at all you're five ten true that's true you know, like this is little, a good little heels all the time um but no i'm rambling now basically no, no. um my one of the biggest differences between us is that um like our looks and our personalities are crossed from our parents okay. so like my mom has a picture that she showed me once of her on her prom night, right? Uh -huh. Of like all dressed up and stuff. And she showed me this photo because she thought it looked like me, right? But she didn't preface it with anything. She was like, Ashley, look at this picture, right? And I was like, I don't remember wearing that dress. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. we, we look so incredibly similar that like, I can barely recognize who's in the photo if it's like the same age between whether yeah. it's my mom or whether it's me. Like I use environmental cues more often than I use like looks because like very ridiculously similar. Look, can I ask you as a, as a quick follow-up, mm -hmm. do people ever think you guys look like sisters? Oh, because, constantly. Yeah, my mom and my sister used to get the same picture. Yeah, like anytime I go to visit my mom, like we were at a pizza hut one day and the server comes by and he's like, are you two sisters? Yeah. And like, you know, my mom being 20 years older than sure. me is like, oh my god. <laughs> But for you, it's like... <laughs> but I'm like, really? do I look like a 40-year-old woman? Do I know? <laughs> Leave it in the comments. <laughs> oh, very good. Yes. <laughs> but, um, 
but the thing is, like, I'm very different from my mom in personality. In personality, uh -huh. I'm a hundred percent my dad. Like, my dad okay. is very take charge, very extroverted, very um, like confrontational. Like, he always wants to pick a fight with somebody. And like, I'm not. I wouldn't say like in a mean way. Like, it's not like you know, square up. It's like yeah. um, let's play verbal chess. You know, like sure. I just like to debate kind of person. And I got a hundred percent of that from my dad. And my mom is very non-confrontational she's very caring she's very sure. self-sacrificing which are all wonderful qualities of course but like not me <laughs> <laughs> and like it it caused a lot of conflict between them when they were together of course. they're just so different and mm -hmm. so like in their kids it's really funny to see it because like they look sort of similar a little bit but um my mom is also very very short we got our tallness from my dad but basically like the personalities are really stark contrasts and you see that in their kids where like it's weird to see such like opposite people sure. in their kids would you say they have bits of each of them but your brother's is more on of higher agreeableness where he avoids mm -hmm. conflict in for sure thing. yeah okay very good mm -hmm. well what do you think Whew. Um, so physically, I'd say I'm almost completely like my dad. Okay. Um, I, so people would tell, would tell me like, I, I look like my dad a lot, you know, uh -huh. I'm like, I do not. And then I looked at a picture of him in high school and I was like, <laughs> oh, so that's why they think I look like him. The only thing that I feel like physically I don't look like him with is my hair. My curly hair is from my mom. Okay. Absolutely from my mom. <laughs> but like everything else, the kind of sort of like stockiness is definitely from my dad, facial feature. It, even my voice is kind of more similar to okay. my dad. So mm -hmm. I'd say physically him. Um, personality, I think it's 50. I'd say I'm closer to my mom than my dad. What's that word you guys use? Omnivert? What is it? Ambivert. Ambivert. <laughs> I'm, I am also very ambivert. Like when, when I'm around people that I know, uh -huh. I'm very extroverted. Of course. Um, when I'm not... I'm pretty introvert. I can be pretty awkward, especially on the phone. That's where it really comes... Even with people I know, that's where the introvertness really comes out. And I also like my space, you know, the kind of quietness. Yeah. Um, with, I was going to say, thankfully, the entire world has gone to texting. And so yeah. you don't need to oh, yeah. on the phone. But then even with emails, I'm like, ooh, how's the sound? You know, like, okay. they kind of... <laughs> oh, I'm very, like, I'll sit... I'll, I'll write an email for 30 minutes. That can wow. be, like, a couple... It's bad, because yeah. I'm just like, does this sound appropriate? And this and that. It's... Yeah. And then your professor text, like, messages you, yeah. like, from iPhone. Right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, okay, <laughs> period. No, that's... From a, iPhone. And you're and like... And okay is misspelled. Yeah. <laughs> But I would say with my mom, I my mom's temperament as well. Okay. Um, with my dad personality, uh, I'm loud like him. Uh -huh. <laughs> I definitely have his loudness. I like to sometimes with people I know, like kind of poke at them, you know. Sure. Sometimes, you know, more than you know, I realize. And like interest, is, it's also very fifty fifty because I get the mo or the movies is like a mix between both my uh -huh. parents. The sports is 100% my dad. Okay. I mean, I'll, a lot of times when I text my dad, it's he'll text me something about the Cardinals and specifically, like, how's this trade proposal sound? <laughs> and, like, it's, oh, I get it from him so much. And I've seen, really, I feel like I never felt like I was much like my dad until I got older. And the more, okay. the older I get, the more I see my dad mm -hmm. in me. I used to really just see my mom. She's very creative sure. as well. And, now I see more of my dad. I'd say it's pretty 50-50, but I see my dad more and more, it seems like, the older I get. Mm -hmm. It's it's interesting because we certainly think of ourselves as individuals, but we're kind of a <laughs> uh, amalgamation yeah, yeah, of our ancestors and our parents. Mm -hmm. Any other thoughts that we wanted to say? No. Okay, well, <laughs> that's how we're like our parents, but we would like to hear about how you guys are, are in, the, in the comments, like your parents uh, physically and personality-wise. And so we'd like you to like this video and subscribe and something with a notification bell and leave comments and have a great day. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. Outstanding.